this lab is called um, a magnet, naturally. And it introduces you to a mineral called lodestone. First thing I'd like you to do, if you're on the right-hand side of the table, is grab the lodestone, slide the compass close to you, and I would like you to draw a slow, large circle around the compass. Slow, Andy, slower, even slower, even slower. And what, what does the compass needle do? Does it stay stationary or does it follow the, the lodestone around, the magnetite? Okay. Compasses respond to magnets. So this is actually a pretty big clue that this is a magnet. Put your lodestone down on the table. Take your magnet and holding it at the very top, I want you to go fishing for lodestone. Another thing that we can do is, is, that, is that magnetite is attracted to other magnets. So go ahead and lift it up. So we have two pieces of evidence. One, the compass needle moving, and two, the attraction of the magnetite to the lodestone that proves that this is a, um, a naturally occurring magnetic mineral. Now, working with your partner across the table, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to rubber band the string to the lodestone so that we can suspend it in the air. So reach across the table with your partner and slide that ribbon onto the lodestone. And let me know if you need any help here. Okay, we're doing great. All right, now Andy, I want you to hand that to Caitlin. Now, Caitlin, I want you to just let that swing around. And does it eventually stop swinging? Okay. Now, right now, the lodestone is acting like a natural compass. And what magnetic field is that lodestone detecting? The magnetic field around what big, giant, round thing? The earth. The earth, yeah. Okay, you don't have to swing it. It's fine. Now, if I twist it a little bit, it moves back and forth, but it eventually lines back up. So this is kind of like the first original compass needle. All right. Now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to put your lodestone in the baggie. And another thing that will allow us to determine whether or not lodestone is magnetic is we have a tar pan with iron filings in it. Iron is attracted to a magnet. So I want you to dip the lodestone in the baggie, into the iron filings, drag it around a couple of times, and see if you can attract any of the iron filings. If that is a magnet, it will pick up iron filings. Go ahead and lift that up. Um, there we go. We have a bearded bag. All right. Now hold yours up, Caitlin. Now not all pieces of lodestone are the same strength. You can see that Luke's magnet is a lot stronger than yours. And that's just sort of the way life is. Sometimes you get a really good strong magnet, sometimes you don't. Now, go ahead and open the baggie up and lift the lodestone out of it. And when you do that, what happens to the filings, Jacob? Falls. Falls back into the turf pan because it's no longer attractive. And finally, open the vial of salt and put one capful of salt in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a naturally occurring magnet. And so if you're on this side of the table, if you will please put the magnet in the baggie. If you're on my left-hand side, that would be Luke and, and Caitlin, stir the salt with the iron filings and mix them really well with your finger. Okay. Now the salt is mixed in with the iron filings. They both have different properties, different physical properties. If I said, okay, Luke, I want you to separate out the iron filings from the salt, and I handed you some hand lenses and a tweezer, would you be very happy about that? No. No, because it would take you a really long time. So, Caitlin, what would be a smarter way to separate the salt from the iron filings? Using a magnet. Use a magnet. Okay, so slide that iron filing into the middle, and you guys on the right, Jacob, and that hoover up all of the iron filings. There you go. Caleb, is there any iron filings left in your, in your tarp pan? Barely. Barely, but most of them are out. And that was a lot faster than picking them out one by one using your hands, right? Yes. Okay, hold your, hold your eye filings over there. Take the magnet out of the baggie. And let them ploop back into the tarp pan. Make sure you're over the tarp pan when you do this. And pull them out. There you go. They go back into the tarp pan. <laughs> <laughs> and 
It's kind of hard to do, isn't it?